little quick live stream of WE Scar L gas blowback. As promised. Uh, first off, it's a beast. It is heavy, it's durable, it is. You, you can drop this thing and not have to worry about breaking it. It is so solid. The build quality on this thing is unbelievable. Uh, so, as always, normal scar stock, uh, clicks around, more for storage rather than going, because you can't really get your finger in there, it's for storage, it's not actually for using as a CQB weapon, it, it doesn't work at all. Um, Elkin Spectre DR sight, with a little RMR sight on top, it's quite handy. Uh, I've been um and ah in about to uh, DMR this thing to uh, locked off to semi just purely because it is always running hot. Even when I had the end pass installed in this, it, it always run on the borderline. It has got an angry, angry gun nozzle in it now, which acts exactly the same as an end pass. So it's it is still very much on the borderline though, very much on the borderline. Uh, I've had this for a couple of years, three I think, three years now. It is such a cool gun to shoot. It's, it's different, I always get comments on the field. There's not many, the WE only make, are the only ones that make a gas blowback uh, scar. And I love the platform itself. It is awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, heavy to run around with, it really is, but it's a really good gun. Uh, this is a uh, RATEC level two when I bought it. So it's got all the RATEC little bits in it. Uh, I have changed the barrel since to a longer barrel. I think it's a 410 RATEC barrel type bore. It runs all the way to the end of the suppressor. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I played around with the hop unit. It's got a flat hop and a 50 degree maple leaf hop unit in it. Uh, sorry, hop rubber. And it just works. It is brilliant. It, it is good CQB weapon. It's good um, in the woodlands and um, in more open areas. Uh, the sight, I haven't really got used to it. I don't really run like sort of scopes as such. I usually run uh, either EOTEX, red dots and stuff like that but what's good about this sight you can switch from uh, time, uh, time one times and four times just by flicking it over it's, it's really easy and obviously you've got the, um, the RMR sight on it the red dot sight on it which is pretty cool um, I think I will end up locking this off to semi and run it as a DMR because it's a powerful weapon. Just take the nozzle, the um, end pass or the angry gun uh, nozzle out and just run it as a full whack how it comes. I think it was running at about, I think it was 420 FPS. Uh, most DMRs, um, most sites for DMRs is about 450 and that was running stock with uh, green gas, believe it or not. But yeah, solid gun. It is, I love this thing. It really is cool. Ooh. Rate of fire is awesome on this thing. It really is. Uh, rate of fire, obviously better than the S&T that I uh, reviewed, reviewed uh, the other day. There is really something about this gun. It really is something about it. It's different, as I say. Do get a lot, a lot of comments out in the field. It is, it is cool. It's cool. It's different. I mean, I like different guns. Uh, I've got an MP7 that I want to review. Um, it's not a TM, and it's, it, um, it's actually the new wave WE. 
Uh, it's apparently it's a one to one scale of the real thing. It is proper cool little thing. Uh, I've only used it a couple of times and it does it, it performs. I've uh, changed the hop up uh, hop rubber on it and stuff like that. But yeah, even stock it it shot true. It was a nice little scary gun, especially if you go to somewhere place like the mall or, um, in Reading, anywhere inside. For some reason, people don't like gas blowbacks. They just don't like it. It's, they they sound beastie and evil. So yeah, uh, who we got on here? Who we got on Instagram? <laughs> you two dudes, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to the live stream. Uh, so yeah, as I say, looking for something different. You like gas blowbacks? It's got to be a scar. Every time. Either that or the GHK uh, G5. I really want to get my hands on one of those. I really do. Uh, apparently they are brilliant. Uh, obviously from GHK, anything's going to be brilliant. But as long as you can pay, uh, if you want to pay the price for it. Um, I'd say WE is a sort of middle, middle range. But I love this thing. Obviously, WE is the only ones that I know of make gas bow backs. And three years ago, I wanted a gas bow back. The only thing is, gas bow backs do change your style of play massively. Um, this is limited to 30 rounds, just like the real thing. Uh, the SNT um, M4 has got 50 rounds. If you're going to a skirmish that everyone's running around with AEGs with 350 rounds high caps, you're going to be out guns. You've got to be a bit sneaky. You've got to put them shots down, know that it's going to hit. And as I said in the previous video, it is so satisfying, so satisfying when you get that hit. You, it really is. Um, but yeah, WE. Scarville GBBR. So, I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight. I really hope you like the vid. Just getting into this, so bear with me. Uh, and uh, I'll put up some more content soon. Thanks for everyone that's watched and watching. A forest badger, what you say? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to look. KWA, Chris Vector. Man, that is my holy grail of gas bowbacks. It is an awesome gun. I've, I've, it, it, obviously, they discontinued it and it sucks because I really want one. Uh, major. Think of buying an M4 gas bowback. Maybe change my mind. <laughs> uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a gas bow back, I would actually go for the SNT. It, it is a solid little gun. It's got potential to be um, upgraded. Obviously, it takes a, a GHK hop unit that I've, I've put in myself. It takes Western Arms uh, kit as well that you can still get hold of. But it doesn't hold the price tag of a GHK. Um, I mean, I, I looked at J, GHKs and you, you, you're looking at a 500 plus easily for an M4. Uh, I think I looked up the other day uh, and it was, yeah, 560 quid. Just for the just for the gun. That's without changing the hop, changing the hop unit if you want to. Uh, mags. It, it, it gets really expensive. Gas bowbacks aren't, aren't, aren't of a cheap, cheap thing. So yeah, uh, yeah. So M4. Everyone's got an M4. The only reason I got the ST was because it was on offer. I, I, I couldn't. I love gas bowbacks. Every time I see one, I've got to have one. I've got to have it. But yeah, hopefully I have changed your mind because this thing is different. As I say. 
Everyone loves a scar. Everyone loves a scar. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, next one, maybe a couple of days, when I get a bit of time to myself. Uh, thanks for watching.